people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, it's been a long time since we talked about this guy, but we're going to break the drought here on True School Sports because it's been reported. And you can you can say the date if you want, if, if you so choose to say the date. But uh, mark your calendars, May 14th, 2022, at the Forum, the return of the crusher sergey kovalev one of the you know the former pound for pound number two fighter in the world at one point uh his first fight back since we saw him fight canelo in the infamous fight with canelo which i will not talk too much about but he's back all right and he's moving up the cruiserweight and you know very intrigued to see this last part of kovalev's career you know personally look I, I, i'm just gonna be real with you guys uh, I like Kovalev. I, I used to be a huge fan. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of his now, but I was at one point. Um, I don't see this being anything but the beginning of the end for Kovalev. Whether he wins this fight or not, um, he's fighting. He, first, first of all, first of all, he's fighting Travel Pulev, Kubrat Pulev's brother, who's a uh, 16 and 0, 13 KOs. Never really fought anybody uh, of note outside of Bulgaria, really. Um, I don't really know anything about Tavel Pulov other than the fact that Tavel Pulov is the guy that exposed that thought that 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 girl that uh that girl that was kissing that that girl that uh was that Kuwait Pulov had kissed and was partying with he he's the one who exposed it for being a, a lying gold digging broad. But listen, other than that, I don't know anything about Tavel Pulov other than that he's undefeated and he exposed the gold digging broad known as Jenny Sushi. But listen, Kovalev hasn't fought since he fought Canelo. That was like what damn near. Yeah, three years ago. By the time they fight, it'll be Danny three years ago. He by the time they fight, he'll be thirty nine years old. We're talking about two and a half years of uh, inactivity. He didn't have the best punch resistance um, towards the latter part of his reign at one seventy five. So, this is to me this this is the beginning of the end. This is the beginning of the end for Sergey Kovalev, and it's really a, a shame that he's fighting cruise weight because it's, it's to me it's completely unnecessary. I don't really see him doing much in the weight class only because of his punch resistance. Now I'm sure Kovalev still has. The boxing skills. I'm still. I'm still sure he has some thump in them hands, but he's moving. He's moving up to a higher weight class. So we don't even. We don't even know how that power is going to carry up. And factor in that his punch resistance, punch resistance isn't very good. So you know, if I sound like I'm negative towards Kovalev, forgive me because um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of things in the last three to five fights in his career that don't give me a whole lot of encouragement. Now, to his to his credit, to his maybe to his uh, benefit, Travel Pulev who's very untested as a professional, he's 39 years old himself. And, um, you know, he, he, he they're about the same age. So he's an old guy, untested, taking on another old guy that was once a pound-for-pound pound top fighter. So it's a chance for Kovalev to get his name in the mix at Cruiserweight, get a win, and, and who knows, maybe he can make a little run and try to become a, a two-division champion. You know, I, I, it really is a shame to see what's happened to Kovalev over the last three to four years, three, four, five years, because... This is a guy that in his prime, man, to, to watch this guy fight in his prime was something to watch. I mean, long, rangy, mean, speedy, athletic, puncher with, with a mean streak. You know, he was he was really um, one of the true treasures of the sport in that ring. And then I think after the Andre Ward robbery, um, after that fight, he was never the same. He was never able to come back from that loss uh, all the way. You know, he did, he did come back and win a vacant belt. And then he got knocked out against Elliot Alvarez. And then... He won the rematch against Alvarez. Buddy McGur kind of patched him up a little bit. Um, then he got the Canelo fight. But he really never recaptured the form he had on September uh, or November 19, 2016. In previous, you know, when he was at, at his best, the number two pound, pound fighter in the world. So really, I think it's the beginning of the end for Kovalev. And, you know, congrats in advance on a great career. But um, apart from Kovalev, you know, on this card, we also have... Kubrat Pulev himself, the, the brother of Tavel, he's he's taking on Andre Fedosov, a, a good veteran in the heavyweight division. You know that that that'll be a good little heavyweight scrap. And then, um, really to me, the, the the real highlights of this card, and I want to highlight this for you guys, is um, is first and foremost, you got uh, Emiliano Vargas, the the youngest of the Vargas brothers, the, the, the one of them, the sons of former uh, you know, fighter himself, former Mexican American superstar Fernando Vargas. You know, um. Miliano Vargas, been his name's been bubbling a lot here in the States. A lot of people that I talk to in the gyms and the Las Vegas boxing community and the South Florida boxing community and the boxing community at large. I just hear nothing but great things about this kid, Miliano Vargas. You know, I, I hear things about 
him going on to be the next pound for pound star. People were telling me before he made the decision to turn pro that, you know, this was going to be the guy that would win America a gold medal, but he decided to not turn, uh, perfect, to not actually go the Olympic route due to all the craziness happening in the world. So he's turning pro. And look, man, this, the, the speed this kid has, the defense this kid has, the attributes that he brings to the table, you know, I'm not going to name no names, but there's some very notable names in the professional ranks that I know personally that this kid's been sparring, that he's been just been doing solid, just just, just absolutely let, make him look foolish in the gym. So this kid, you know, I'm not going to crown him as the next this and the next that because it's very easy to do that when you have a, a talented young fighter, but um, he's making his pro debut. Is something to look out for. So you got him. You got uh, you know, a, a friend of the channel, a friend of the program, my main man, Evan Holyfield. You know, looking to continue to build his career. And uh, you know, I, I was recently in Florida, in Tampa, and my and my good friend and my my peer in the boxing game, uh, longtime boxing writer Damon Gonzalez. He said when I talked to him that you know, uh, Evan Holyfield is going to be the Evan Holyfield versus Xander Zayas at Madison Square Garden is going to be the next big fight in the sport of boxing. So ever since ever, ever since he said that, and he kind of gave me a little point of view on it, I've been kind of like, you know, looking at, I'm taking a cl close look to see these guys' fights, how they develop, because I want to see if that comes to fruition. You know, they're both guys that uh, compete in the 154 weight division. They're both guys that I think bring a lot to the table. You know, Xander being a guy, a kid that has the chance to be that next Puerto Rican star. Evan being the son of a legend and a, and a, and a, and a damn good fighter. People, people don't realize that Evan Holyfield with all the talk of his father, he's a very, very good young prospect. I mean, a very good young prospect. I've had the chance to know Evan since he was even a, uh, a professional. I knew him. I knew, I knew Evan when he was like uh, going to fight in the Georgia Golden Gloves. And you could even see it back then that he was uh, going to be someone to reckon with in the pros. So looking forward to seeing him on the card. He's taking on a guy that uh, I'm familiar with in Maurice Williams. Maurice Williams fought uh, Clay Collard on one of those top-ranked shows. And Clay Collard stopped him in two rounds. So it's a fight where Evan Holyfield should look good on paper, but you don't write off nobody. But that that's the news. Sergey the Crusher Kovalev is back. He's at Cruiserweight taking on Tervel Pulev. Um, we'll see what, what what he can do, what's left of Kovalev. I, I don't really expect a whole lot. I think this will be the beginning of the end for Kovalev. The minute he step up and fight a real, real good Cruiserweight, but, you know, we don't disrespect Pulev. Pulev hasn't lost yet, so we'll see what he can do. But he's, he's 39 years old. He's very untested, so we'll see what happens. But uh, you got him. Miliano Vargas on the card. You got uh, Kubert Pulev taking on Andre Fedosov. You got, whatchamacallit, you got, um... Evan Holyfield. So, I like this card. It'll be in L.A. I'll probably be at this card. So, you, if you're going to be in the L.A. area come May 14th, let your boy BT know. And we'll definitely uh, meet up. I like meeting the subscribers and the viewers of the channel. Uh, that's always fun for me. And, yeah, if you see me at these fights, I, I always tell everybody, if you see me at these fights, don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be a stranger. Say what's up. And I'll definitely take my time and talk to whoever I come across. But, uh, yeah, that's the news. Cole Levis back. May 14th, the form. Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.